hey y'all thank you so much for clicking on this video if you guys are new here i do oh, that's why it's so quiet it's a tesla anyways sorry y'all i have like the squirrel method squirrel syndrome you know when you see something you just kind of get distracted <laughs> uh, and the tesla distracted me that's nice the model y anyways you guys it is what's today thursday if you guys are new here i do uber and doordash vlogs in central florida area usually i'm like in a popka which is where i'm at today you guys i'll be here till later on tonight probably till about 10 o'clock we'll see um and i did get a picture today you guys of my mileage before i left the house it was at 53 i'll put it up on the screen for you guys but it was at 53,926 with the gas at 215 miles left so at the end of the night i will let you guys know where i'm at um once i get home so it takes me i would say like 30 miles to get to a popka which is fine because the whole house comes here like i said so it doesn't matter it doesn't bother me that's actually why i come to a popka uh oh she fell um she fell getting out the car. Her, her mom's car is too big for her. She went whoop right on the floor. Uh, but that's actually why I come here. So, and that's why I dash and Uber here. If I didn't have to come to Apopka, I would probably stay in Claremont. And then once I get my car back, I'll probably go to Leesburg more to see if I can make more money there and it's closer to home. Um, but i'm still waiting on that you guys anyways guys i will let you guys know once i get my first ride that i accept for the day they did send me i think two ubers so far but they were like two dollars and then the other one was like 13 miles so i'm not trying to do that and the money wasn't quite worth it anyways for that 13 miles because i it was to go to a coe so i'm good on that you guys all right, you guys, I just got my first order and I just got on DoorDash, so that's really good. But I did take an order on arrival again for Victorio's, so I'm about to go inside and order it right now. I was just trying to put my socks on. Um, it's for 4.5 miles for $12 and change. And there's no lasagna today, so I'm hoping that it's not gonna take very long, hopefully like 20 minutes. But it's a steamer combo and some crab bites. So I, don't, I don't know how long it takes to make those, but I'm hoping not more than like 15 minutes. But we will find out, you guys. I'm going to go head inside and order this using my Uber Plus card and see how long it's going to take. All right, you guys. So I had to wait probably about 10, 15 minutes. Not too long. A lot better than the one from yesterday. And I am heading to deliver, you guys. And of course... Somebody asked me yesterday, like, what is the worst smell you've had in your car? And I was like, it's seafood because honestly, I just don't like seafood. Well, you know, the first order I pick up has seafood. <laughs> oh, God. It's actually not too bad today, so that's good. It's from a different place. Um, I think, that, well, Victorio's. It's from Victorio's. And usually the seafood that I get that's nasty, um, like a strong smell, strong, strong is from the other place raised fish and chips so i don't know i don't know what the difference would be this is like crab legs or something it looked like i don't know look like a leg in there but anyways you guys i'm headed to deliver so hopefully i'll be done with this very soon and back online with doordash and that will probably be it for the order and pays for me today all right you guys so i just dropped off that Victoria's order and as I was pulling up I was getting an order for Beefo Brady's over here um, I'm closer now to like the other side of Apopka so I accepted it it was only it's 3.4 miles you guys for eight dollars but it's gonna take me about two miles to get there so once I get the Beefo Brady's it should not be that far for me at all so I figured that worked out perfect and then I will head back towards where I usually go Aww, a little wee how cute um so that's a good second order you guys all right you guys i got the food and it smells so good they got some kind of like funnel cake fries oh my goodness smells delicious so i'm headed for delivery and it was 0.7 miles you guys so that's pretty awesome for eight dollars
All right, you guys, I just took an order for La Granja for 2.4 miles for $7, you guys. So I'm heading there now. I was about to turn on to Hunt Club and I got this order so I was able to get all the way over. <laughs> I'm notorious for that. Um, so I'm almost to La Granja now. All right, you guys, so I just took an order for Arby's on DoorDash. I had just got back to my plaza. It's 5.3 miles, but I took it because it's 8.50. So that's pretty much the only reason I took it was because it was 8.50. Otherwise, I would not have taken this long of an order right now. What is this lady doing? I think she's trying to scare somebody. She is. <laughs> she was creeping down, walking to the car. So it's whoever was in the car wouldn't see her so she could scare them. That was funny. Um, but anyways, I'm about to head to Arby's now, you guys. They got nine items, and pickup time is by 521, and it's only 513. So I have plenty of time to go next door. It shouldn't even take me three minutes to get there. All right, y'all, it is six o'clock dinner time, and it is getting dark. Um, I just took an order. They've been sending me so many, but they've all been so trash. Um, this is the best one that I've got in a while. It's 1.7 miles for $7 for Huey Magoo's. So I'm about to head inside now and grab this, you guys. It is pick up by 612. It's only 604, so I still have a few minutes. Um, I'll probably go in there anyways just to see maybe it's done early and then get this delivered. It should be done in about, I would hope, 15 minutes. It all depends on if the food is ready or not. All right, you guys, it is officially dark and I just got an order for Tijuana. They're sending me so many bad orders today, you guys. It's for 3.8 miles for 8.50 for Tijuana. I'm already in the parking lot, so I already slid after arrival, but it says pickup is by 6.44. So I'll probably wait like two minutes because it's only 6.36 and then I'll go in like after two minutes to go grab this food. They don't have no drinks. One is a chimichanga. They want me to go uh -uh, another almost three miles for $5. I'm not doing it. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna be me. I don't want to go all the way that far. Nope. All right, y'all, I am glad I waited the two minutes because when I went in there, I checked the rack there was three orders waiting there, but none of them were mine. And she was like, are you looking for an order? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I looked at these, but mine's not here. And she was holding in it in her hand. Mile, so right, I walked in at the perfect time. West. Sorry, y'all, my phone is so loud. But I walked in at the perfect time because the order had just finished. All right, y'all, so I just took an order for Tijuana again. It is for $6, 2.1 miles, you guys. So not very far, not very much money, but they, they're still sending me trash orders. I don't know. I probably decline like 10 before I accept one. <laughs> probably more, I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but they only got one item, another chimichanga, no meal. So no, that means no drink. So easy peasy. Pickup time is by 7-Eleven and, ooh, 7-Eleven. And it is 7.04. I'm just going to go in and check if the food is ready. And if not, I'll just come back out, wait a second, and then go back in. All right, you guys. I got that Tijuana dropped off. And I just got an order for right across where I dropped that off at. For Marco's Pizza, 1.8 miles for $8, you guys. It's mostly me just turning around to go back to Marco's. Um, and then it's going to go... Mm, to the neighborhood I think that I the same neighborhood I was just in I believe so not bad you guys for eight dollars all right you guys it's actually not the same neighborhood from the direction well from the map well not the map either from my screenshot it looks like it's going to the same neighborhood but it's actually not it, they like almost I wish they were connected but they're not they're like back to back all the way at the end of the neighborhood that I just dropped off to but you guys, it's only 0.6 miles to get there, so not bad, you guys. All right, you guys, I just got an order for Uber, finally. 
2.9 miles you guys for chick-fil-a for nine dollars and thirty cents so that's pretty good you guys it doesn't bother me that it's two orders it's still only three miles they're both for chick-fil-a so i'm heading to chick-fil-a now and you guys you saw you saw that most of that was the drive to chick-fil-a so again it's really good for the nine dollars and change all right, you guys, it is about, well, almost 8.30. It's 8.23. I just accepted an order, but I'm right at about like $77 I should be because um, of the two Chick-fil-A orders I just did. So I just have to wait for those tips to come through, um, but it should get me to like 77 So you guys, I just accepted an order for DoorDash, and I only took it because, again, it's 8.50, so it could go up. I know the last one I did that was $8.50 went up to like $9. So another $0.50, cents, but hey, $0.50 cents is $0.50. Cents. Um, it's five items, 5.1 miles for Arby's for $8.50. So I'm about to head to Arby's now, but it's going to be about probably four and a half miles for the delivery, you guys, because I'm pretty close to Arby's, um, but I'm about to head there now. All right, you guys, I got that um arby's delivered and luckily i stop after i get the food and drinks because i take the the drinks out of the cup holder that they give you and i put it in the car cup holder and then i put the food in my bag and i get done doing that and i go to look and it's uh, <laughs> the lady was standing there because they forgot to give me a bag so luckily i do stop and do that because otherwise the customer would have been missing part of their food and y'all, they gave me an extra tip, <clears throat> $14 I got for that order. So that put me at $70 with DoorDash and I should be at about 20 minutes, $20 with, oh my gosh, $20 with um, Uber. I'm still waiting on part of the tip from that double Chick-fil-A order. But I just did accept an order for 4.3 miles going for $8.75 for Little Caesars. So I actually have to head to Little Caesars. I was just trying to eat really quick. I got some grilled chicken and apple slices. <sighs> but I like chicken. I just, I don't usually like chicken by itself. But can't be eating all this bread, you know. Oh, the other tip just came through. It's $2.85. So now Uber's at $21.93. <laughs> so I'm about to head to Little Caesars anyways, you guys. All right, you guys, it is 9.30. I just, well, a few minutes ago, I dropped off that Little Caesars order and that put me at my goal almost exactly. I calculated because that order was only $8.75. My base pay was $3.75 instead of $3. So that threw me off there. Um, but it's still not a bad order for 875. It was only 3.8 miles for the delivery. So anyways, I'm at $100 and 68 cents. So that put me right at my goal. So from three to nine 30, I did hit my goal. I would have liked a little bit more. I might have time for one more order. Um, otherwise that's going to be my total. Um, but I will definitely let you guys know what, what happened. Now I'm getting an Uber. No, it's $4 for five miles. No. All right, you guys, I am home. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and then leave a comment down below. And let me know you did so, so I can get you added for the giveaways. Um, but now I'm going to give you guys my totals, which I already pretty much told you the total. Um, I didn't get any more rides that were worth it. Sorry guys, I'm really. <sighs> so it is just the $100.68, but I still did hit my goal, so that's awesome, you guys. And that was in about six and a half hours I did that. So not too bad, you guys. I know last Thursday, I think I was really struggling to hit my goal and I actually had to go past... Um, the 10 o'clock mark so this this week was definitely better um i didn't think i was gonna do it because it was a little slow but i guess i got um a couple decent rides the one ride turned into 14 dollars, so that was good um 
but I forgot to get a picture of my speedometer once I got home. So I'm going to do that in the morning and then I'll just put a clip at the end um, so you guys can see it because I'm not going all the way back downstairs now. Um, but I will see you guys later. I hope you guys had a great night. I hope you guys met your goal if you are drivers and stay safe out there and I will see you guys for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.